This is how you can make a global ban and unban command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also have the bot tier, which is a full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos, as well as three bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go ahead and get into the code all right so to start we're going to go ahead and go over to commands and we're going to go ahead and create global man.js in here we're going to go ahead and get our slash command builder as well as our embed builder and then we're going to do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package then we can go ahead and do module that exports and we're going to go ahead and get our owner and we're going to go ahead and set that to true that is part of the new dev toolkit package you can also do a if statement if you don't have this in your own handler but it's basically just checking to see if the user who's running this command is uh, an id that you pre-select then we're going to go ahead and get data which is going to be our new slash command builder we're going to go ahead and set a name and this is going to be global then we're going to go ahead and set a description and we can just say global it doesn't really matter that's not going to be viewable uh, then we can go ahead and add a sub command. This first sub command is going to have the name of ban with a description of ban a user from everywhere. We're going to add a user option with the name of user, the description of the user to ban, and we're going to set required to true. And then we're going to add a reason option with the description of the reason for that ban. And then we're going to set required to true on that as well. So after that, we're going to add another sub command. We're going to go ahead and set the name to unban with the description of unban a user from everywhere. We're going to go ahead and add a user option with the name user and the description of the user to unban from everywhere we're also going to go ahead and set required to true after that we can add a comma and we're going to go ahead and run our async execute and we're going to go ahead and pass in our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up here so within this let's go ahead and get our options and we're going to go ahead and set that equal to our interaction we can do const sub equals options that get sub command we're going to go ahead and do const user equals options that get user which is going to be our user and we're going to go ahead and do var guilds equals await client that guilds that fetch and that's all we have to do there let's also go ahead and pass in our client right next to our interaction so we can use that then we can go ahead and write out our function so async function and we can go ahead and do send message let's go ahead and pass in our message parameter Let's go ahead and also get const embed equals a new embed builder. So we're going to go ahead and write out our embed. We're going to go ahead and set a color so we can just do that. Then we can go ahead and set a description and that's going to be our message parameter. Then we can do wait to interaction or apply and we're going to get our embeds, which is going to be our embed. And we're going to go ahead and set mfermal to true on that as well. All right, so now that we have the basis of our command set up, let's go ahead and set up both of the sub commands. So we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command and we can open this up. We're going to get our case, which is going to be ban. Uh, and then we can open that up as well. So let's go ahead and do const reason equals options. And we can do dot get string. And that's going to be our reason string. Uh, after that, we can go ahead and do var ban count equals zero. Then we're going to go ahead and write out a for loop. So we're going to do for and we can do const and we can do id and guild. And then we can do of guilds and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to do var fetched guild equals and we can do await client.guilds.fetch and we're going to pass in our id there. Uh, then we can go ahead and do const and we can go ahead and say bands equals await fetched guild bands.fetch. So we're going to fetch the guild and then we're going to fetch all of the bands from that guild. Then we're going to do var fetch ban equals bands that get, uh, and we're going to do user dot ID. So now that we have our bands, we're going to go ahead and query those bands uh, with the user ID uh, that we're checking to see if the user is banned. So then we can do if, and we can do no fetched ban. Then we can actually open this up and we're going to do await fetched guild and we can do dot bands that create. We're going to go ahead and create our user.id. We're going to go ahead and get our reason, which is going to be our reason variable. Then we can just go ahead and catch an error here and leave that as blank. Next, we're going to go ahead and do band counts and we can just do plus plus. So essentially what we're doing here, like I said, is we're fetching our guild from that ID of the guilds um, from our variable up above. And then we're going to go ahead and get the bands from that guild. And then we're going to go ahead and check to see if the user is banned. So if the variable exists, then we're not going to do anything. But if it does not exist, meaning the user is not banned, then we go ahead and ban that user. And this is going to occur in every single guild that the bot is in, regardless of if the user is in that guild as well. 
So after we do that, we can just say await send message and we're gonna go ahead and say, I have banned user.username and then we're gonna go ahead and do backslash takes in parentheses user.id from and we can bold ban count slash client dot guild dot cache dot size and we're gonna finish that bolding uh, so guild. So this is essentially gonna say three out of three or 100 out of 100 guilds or whatever. So it's just going to say it's banned them from all of the guilds. So that is our global ban command. Now let's go ahead and break and we're going to write out our case, which is going to be unbanned. So if we ban a user from every single guild that the bot is in, we probably also want a method to unban people. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to do var unban counts equals zero. And then we're going to do four and we can do const and we can do ID and guild and we can do uh, of guilds just like we did above. Then we're going to do var fetched guild equals client.guilds.fetch, just like we did above. And again, we can do const bans equals await fetched guild.bans.fetch, again, just like we did above. Then we're going to go ahead and do var fetched ban, and then we can do equals bans.get, and we're going to get user.id. So we're essentially doing the exact same code that we already did above, but this time, instead of doing uh, if no fetched ban, this time we're going to go ahead and say if fetched ban, then we can just go ahead and do await fetched guild.bans.remove. We're gonna get our user.id and then we're gonna go ahead and catch an error and we can just go in and do nothing. Uh, and then we're gonna go in and do unban counts plus plus just like that. Uh, and then outside of that, we're gonna go ahead and send our confirmation message as well. So in here, we're gonna do a wait send message and we're gonna say I have unbanned user.username and then we're gonna say user.id in those ticks. And then we're gonna say from unban count divided by client.guilds to cache that size, guilds. So, and then also after that, we're gonna say if this number is low, note that they may not have been banned anywhere. So essentially what that means is, let's say the user is not banned in any of the guilds that my bot is in, there's no point in trying to unban them, which is why we're doing this check here. Then unban count is going to be equal to zero because that means we have not unbanned them from anywhere because they're not banned. So in that case, it's gonna be zero out of however many guilds the bot is in. But if they're banned in like two guilds or one guild, then it will say one out of however many guilds the bot is in. So essentially, this is just preventing a bunch of spam requests that ultimately will just result in errors. Um, and it's giving the owner who executed the command a reason of why uh, the user was not unbanned from all of these servers, just like they were banned in all of these servers previously. All right, so that's going to be it for the code portion. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and we can go ahead and test this out. All right, so I'm over in a Discord server right now that my bot is in. So if we do mutual servers, as you can see, I'm in three servers. I'm in my bot testing server, I'm in appeal server, and I'm in main server from the ban appeal video. So essentially, the account that I'm going to be testing this on is not banned in any of these servers as of now. As you can see, there's no bans. But also the account that I'm going to be testing this on is not actually in any of these servers. So it's going to work regardless. All right, so we can actually go ahead and run this command. We're going to go ahead and get global ban. We're going to get the user ID of the account we want to ban. And we're just going to say testing for a video. And if we go ahead and send it here, as you can see, it's going to say I banned that account from three out of three guilds. So what that means is every single guild that my bot is in, as you can see, it's three. It went ahead and banned that user from. So we can actually go in and check all the guilds because we're only in three. So if we go to this guild, it's banned. Uh, if we go ahead and go to the main server guild, as you can see here, uh, it's also banned. And if we go over to SK bot testing, which is my bot testing server, as you can see here, we're banned there as well. And if you click on it in all of these servers, it's going to say testing for a video as the ban reason. Now, it might be a good thing to do if you wanted to. You could add in a uh, append to the string that basically says um, this was a global ban in the reason um, and then next to the reason that you provide just so that the server knows why they were banned from the bot if none of the mods executed that command. And on that note, this is kind of a gray area on Discord. This probably isn't actually allowed, so just use it at your own risk as a developer of your bot. You are banning a user in a server without their technical consent. So just keep that in mind. This might cause servers to remove the bot from their server if for some reason it's banning users without anybody actually running that command. So now we can go ahead and test our unban command. All we have to do is pass in the user ID. And if we go ahead and send it, as you can see, it's gonna say I have unbanned that account from three out of three guilds. Um, so if we go ahead and check now, as you can see, the member is no longer banned in any of these servers. So we can actually go ahead and run the unbanned command one more time, and we can go ahead and pass that in. And now it's going to say zero out of three guilds. And just like I said, if that number is low, that might be because they're not banned anywhere. 
Um, and that basically means that the member here was not banned in any of the guilds my bot is in, so we're not going to unban them from any of those guilds. All right, so that's how you can make a global ban and unban command for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here, and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways, because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.